I'm very, very delighted to get the award. Um, it's been nice to be nominated you know, a few times now by the coaches and uh, to, to finally win the uh, watch is, is very nice. And uh, it is a bit of a chunky watch there. Is, it, um, is this why Fords are winning it all the time, do you think? That's probably the only explanation. That or uh, Dorian West is the main casting vote. Um, no, I think the forwards have played well this year. We've, uh, we've continued our work in the set piece, but expanded our game around the pitch. And um, it's probably shown by the players getting nominated and the, the guy the fans are voting for. As far as your own December is concerned, three tries in two games and, and helping Saints to, to an unbeaten month as well was, uh, you know, aside from the game. You know, it was pretty, must be pretty satisfying already. Yeah, it was a good month for us after a, you know, a very disappointing start against uh, Leinster at home. Um, no, yeah, very good month. We had some tough games in there. You know, Bath at home certainly wasn't a walkover, and, um, and to get three tries is pretty unusual for me. So, uh, so very pleased. And to, to be rated as well in terms of with the the, the Viva Premiership's line out, you know, work's been getting an awful lot of coverage mm. uh, in the media. It must be very satisfying for you as well. Yeah, I'm very lucky to have uh, the guys to work with around me. Some really good line-out forwards and uh, some good hookers thrown in as well. And um, yeah, we're pretty proud of our set piece at full stop, and, and it's going very well at the moment. Ross, you must be delighted to get club of the month this month. Yeah, it's it, it's fantastic, um, but at the same time, it's been a bit of a hard one um, with regard to what what it's been for. Really, um, the work that I do as far as for charities and for and for voluntary groups, whether that, that be big scale ones or local community projects, it's just been something I've always done. And it's not just myself; it's my family, it's my wife. Um, so it's something we've always been wanted to do, and it's something we've always done. And Something we'll carry on doing, and I never look for any limelight or any 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 publicity, and and, um, and it's something that moving forward that I won't look for. I'll just carry on doing what what we do, really. Jim Mallander said in his notes in his comments on the release yesterday about the uh, about the club of the month that it was kind of typified you as, as a bloke, really, just wanting to get on and, and do stuff. Is that kind of would you agree with that as as the person who's received the award? Um, it's always nice when the boss speaks highly of you and, um, and it's always nice when he not only talks about what kind of player you are, he talks about what kind of person you are and I think that's important um, and I'm very grateful for that, I'm very humbled. It's when, when your boss you know, speaks of an inspirational person and is regarding yourself, I'm obviously very flattered. Um, but I'll stay grounded and I'll carry on doing what I do, um, both for the club as far as um, my role within the club is, is what I do, but at the same time what I do off the club, it, no, nothing will change. As far as uh, the charity work that you have been doing, just uh, run us through some of, the, some of the causes that you've helped. Well, it's been over a fair few years that we've, we've helped at various organisations. We, we've always helped um, with Ronald McDonald Trust. It's always been something that's been massively close to our hearts. It's just stemming from my daughter, um, who was born, like the article says, with gastroschisis and we were in hospital for a long time down in Bristol and I'd just joined the club at the time and the club were absolutely fantastic. They, they helped me, they supported me uh, emotionally and they also helped me financially, obviously employing me at the club and supporting me with a, with a Range Rover that I used to put a mattress in the back and they would allow me to have special time off and, um, and be with my wife and, and be with my newly born daughter that was in intensive care. So um, I've always been grateful for that but at the same time we, uh, we we raised some money early on, and we've we just carried on doing various things. And this year's been no different. We've we've carried on, and we've we, I've done club dinners, and I've done uh, after dinner speaking, and all stuff like that. So if anybody wants an after dinner speak speaker, I'm there. I'm quite funny, quite witty, um, and I've got a fair few stories, as the boys will tell you. Um, so and all my all my um, fees go straight to uh, for the charity. So um, but yeah, we've we've done lots and. We've done work for Help the Heroes in the past. I did quite a lot when I was at Gloucester there. So it was still obviously fresh when I was youngster. Um, and then recently I've started doing a lot of work for leukemia research uh, and for various other leukemia projects as, as well as cancer research. Just um, with one of my family members uh, recently being diagnosed with leukemia. Uh, so it's been quite poignant. Um, and looking forward now, looking forward to what we do with as charity organisations, we're going into um, into a lot of work in the summer and I've got a couple of things that are in the pipeline I'm looking to do a triathlon and a half marathon all locally uh, in the off season and trying to raise a bit more money and pushing more towards the leukemia research it's not to say we won't carry on with the Ronald McDonald Trust but I'll leave that in the capable hands of some other family and friends my mum's done uh, some charity singing uh, carol concerts and some big concerts and my auntie's done the same kind of stuff so it's a big family effort so um, 
Yeah.